I want you guys to understand how completely important it is to only have good people in your life. I want to introduce y'all to this very simple concept that if you want it, you got to go get it. I mean, you have to be curious. If you're really enjoying something, you don't need a substance to do it. If you're having an amazing day and you're hungry, you'll probably just eat. You're probably not going to starve yourself. Um, you know, if you have an amazing night and you come home, you're probably going to go to sleep really easily and you're probably going to wake up feeling great. So, so many people nowadays, they change this, they change that. They're so quick to change their mind. They change their hair color. They change the shows they're watching. They change friends even. Very, very quick to change their mind. Now, I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with change. But you know what? Real change, lasting change, that's not easy. And that takes time. And I'm not just talking about changing your hairstyle. Real change is difficult. And yet, is it worth it? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will it make you a better person? You better believe it. In my own life, I have had to change many things. Why? Why did you have to change them, James? I made it a must because my very life was on the line. But how many of you know, if you had your life to live over again, you could have done more than what you've done thus far? Raise your hands, please. That proves the point that what we do and what we accomplish in life is only a tip of the iceberg of what's possible for us. How many have somebody special you'd like to do something for? Raise your hands, please. advancing your career, taking your life to the next level. I want you to think about the goals that you've set for yourself, why you've invested in yourself and being here. And whatever the goals are that you've set for yourself, and I hope you've raised the bar on yourself, I want you to multiply it a hundredfold. I found that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. I found that most people fail in life because they do what I did for most of my life aim too low. But what happens is you go through a process that helps you to discover what controls the way you think, the way you feel, and what you do in your life. Every thought, every feeling, every emotion you experience in this lifetime is shaped by beliefs and values. All of your life is controlled by decisions you make.
decisions about what to believe, decisions about what to feel, decisions about what to do. And most of us are on automatic pilot, letting the world trigger us instead of taking back control of our life. And when you do that, just think of it this way. Anything you want to change, you want to change your body, you want to change your career, your business, your relationship. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. You can change your circumstances. You have the power to do this. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. Your life will be hard, but if you do what is hard, your life will be easy.